Good morning, folks. As you watch the last 24 hours of our star in 211 angstroms, you'll see an SDO maneuver, a satellite maneuver that temporarily disrupted the feed. Other resources have confirmed nothing scary occurred during the downtime, and now we watch the dark positive polarity coronal hole turning in. Cosmic rays are on the rise the last couple of days, according to Bartol. Nice to see regular updates there again. The solar wind speed peaked about 24 hours ago, and since that time, even with some relevant density readings, the geomagnetic instability has dropped off considerably. Still no big flares on our star, C8 is the largest we've had, and the sunspots earth-facing likely won't change that with the diminishing delta up north departing and continued magnetic separation incoming down south. The big sunspot returns now on the southeastern limb, but it has yet to fire big. Interestingly, this plasma filament swings in in tandem with that megaspot remnant. The large magnitude quakes took more time off in favor of unusual location rumbles, like this one in Kansas. Highly unusual. We also continued our western U.S. uptick as well in and around Oregon. Last night we noted the return of the swarm near the Nevada border. Rosetta successfully dropped its lander onto 67P yesterday, but the hook didn't catch the ground, so the landing might have been a bit rocky. ESA will be giving lots of updates today we hope. I'm super excited about this mission that will study the zone where space weather meets earth weather. This is actually a vital aspect of our primary research, the successful statistical dependence of largest earthquakes on the planet with solar polar magnetic field fluctuations, which, if you are new here, you should definitely check out over at suspiciousobservers.org. Kicking to the weather, we are seeing more cold records, more snow records, and we're not even halfway through November. The polar vortex has allowed an arctic blast to slide down and push most of the U.S. and Canada well below average temperatures. This will continue another few days as the low and high pressure cells reinforce a southeast directional flow to the wind where they meet in the middle. This makes for major cold and snow alerts almost from coast to coast. Let's also look at the frost and freeze warnings for tomorrow. Wow. Massive Atlantic low draws a convergence from far southwest up through the UK and a bit of Norway. Meanwhile, you can see the secondary flows to the east as well. Same old story. The watches and alerts follow those areas tonight. Yesterday's alerts down under came through with a significant hailstorm in New Zealand. The remnants of that storm still survive today while the primary convergence becomes this area to the west. Those take our alerts tonight along with a sliver of the east coast as well. We got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, 5 o'clock a.m. Central. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.